Okay, y'all, I had to go outside for a little bit, do something for the van. I'll tell you about that later. So, I made my batter right here, and um, I think I'm going to use a little bit smaller dipper. I did brush it just lightly with some butter because I love butter. So now, I'm just going to put some batter in here. I don't, I don't think I'm going to... Okay, and I'm going to close it. And it does not take very long at all for um, these little things to cook. And they're so good, and they're so easy. And in the previous video, I told you they don't take up a lot of watts. It's so cool. Oh, I have to tell y'all, don't, I was going to say, don't let me forget to check the waffle. Um, yeah, I'm not going to tell y'all about that right now. It'd take me too long. But I have part of my power needs. Mm-hmm, I do. So, um, what this is doing right now is, and I'm sure you can't see it, but there's steam coming out of it. Now, some people say, oh, okay, it's just my back. Um, say that when it stops steaming, the food is done. Uh, I don't think so. Now, I'm going to, did y'all hear that pop? Why is this one popping? Is that normal? Okay, let's, okay, can y'all see that? It's already a light golden brown but I like mine darker because then they're not so soft. So anyway, um, I've got my Aunt Jemima, well, my Pearl Milling Company pancake batter. And all you have to do to turn that, I gotta get up. <laughs> all you have to do to turn that into waffle batter is add some oil to it. That's all you have to do. Now, personally, French toast, pancakes, waffles, I like pure lard. Oh, it makes everything so crispy. But, um, I've had this little uh, waffle maker now for a couple of days, and I just, I wanted to get up and I just wanted to make some waffles, but I thought, I can't do that because I have to do the unboxing. I thought, well, I can stuff it back in there. Well, you know, that's just too much trouble. <laughs> so, let's see. Now, I'm not kidding y'all. The reason I got the bigger one is because I'll have to cook four of these. But that's okay, because while I am making one, I can eat one. And then I can take that one out, pour some batter, and really quick, you know. Okay. Um, I checked it again. It's not dark enough for me. Are they going to change the name of the log cabin? No high fructose. Okay. Oh, I'm going to show y'all something that's part of the van. It's so cool. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. See that? You see that? Yeah. That's part of the van. I love it. Okay, let's look and see. 
it's pretty brown, but I'm going to leave it for, you know, a few more seconds. Once you make a few of these, you get, you know, used to it. You don't have to keep checking them. But when I was making those pancakes on that 8-inch griddle, it was amazing. When you put the lid up to check on it, they were puffy like that. Ready? Find a face. Get a little closer. Get a little closer. This is what my camera is telling me. Find a face. Get closer. If you can't see this face, then there is something wrong. Y'all, I was playing with my phone earlier. I think y'all are... It says... Get a little closer. Find a face. Okay, there was something else that said... What is it going to say? I hate these things, y'all. They're so complicated. But I reset the camera. And I thought, if I did this, that, then maybe my videos would be facing the right way. Okay, let's see if I have managed. I want to see. Well, there's barely any, you know, steam coming out. So, let's see. That looks pretty good. Ooh, look at that side. Oh, that looks good. Okay, I'm going to put some more batter in here. This is really yeasty, y'all. Now, the fancier you get, uh, the more, you know, bells and whistles you get. Some of them, you can adjust the darkness. Oh, they do all these weird things that are so good. But, the little dash ones are pretty straightforward. There's no on and off button. You just plug and unplug. You just plug it unplug it. Okay. I could have put, oh, one of the things um, with the bigger waffle maker, it had a little uh, thing around it, you know, so you wouldn't have overflow come over the side of your okay, y'all. I'm going to tell you about this. It's so good. Mmm. absolutely gonna take four of these. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you would think with a mouth that big I wouldn't miss it. Now I ordered this. It's awesome. I think. The reason I got this is because even though the non-stick is awesome, you, um, hey, Lily, what you doing? <laughs> She's been eating something. She's licking her lips. But to clean the waffle maker, you've got to get in all those little nooks and crannies. So this is really, it's, I would say it's like medium. It's not real stiff. It's kind of feathered on the edges. So I got this to clean the waffle maker with. What I would like to do is try to brush Lily. And if it works, then I could get another one. But if it doesn't work for Lily, I'd have to get another one anyway because I am not going to brush her, wash this, and try to clean the waffle maker. <laughs> okay, y'all. That's it. Um, now that the van project is really uh, going fast, there's a bunch of stuff, and um, so I'll be making those videos and putting them out. 
I hope y'all are doing good. There's a lot in our world right now to keep us from being uh, bubbly. Yeah. But anyway, do something fun and make yourself happy. Bye, y'all.